and really I think people need to start taking some fitness. First of all, how does it feel to be here at the Soul Train Awards? It feels good. It's always a nostalgic experience, especially being nominated. Absolutely. So talk about being nominated. What does it take to be nominated as a woman of such successful stature? You know, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm hoping that it has something to do with the song I've, I've put out. Um, but I'm in the same category as beautiful, beautiful people. There's Kelly Rowland. There's just so many incredible people. I think it's just something about having soul, maybe. When it comes to soul, how, is, how do you feel like it's transformed over the years, from the 70s all the way up till today? You know what? I'm not sure if it has. I think that soul comes from here. It always has. And if you don't re realize that, if you don't know that, then you're you're not paying attention. Your soul's got to come from the same place it always came from, and that's from your soul. When it comes to your lyrics and, and your songwriting, how do you feel like your soul plays a part of that? You know what? Um, I can't sing about anything that I'm not experiencing, that I haven't felt, that I haven't seen. Uh, so for me, my lyrics play a big part. Otherwise, you won't believe me when I'm singing to you. Yeah. Anybody in particular you're looking forward to seeing tonight? In well, I saw Dionne Warwick uh, already. She watched me rehearse her song, and I sat next to Gladys Knight during rehearsal. I think that's as good as it gets. Hey, it's Chrisette Michelle, and you're watching Rolling Out TV. Peace. Thank you.